they've known about this asteroid coming for a while. And the tunnels are for their protection. They moved the Fed to Chicago to protect it from the tsunami. All of these drills, which are happening all over the world, so it's not just here in America, we think it is, we're hyped up because we live here, but he told her, Japan, Canada, it's all for panic control. And he said, yes, martial law will take place. Military is being told about forced swine flu vaccination shots. Now this was back in 2009, forced, okay? And they were saying, you take the shot or you'll be told, come with us. This was back in 2009. The soldiers said that they were being trained on how to handle roadblocks and things like that. My daughter, you must do everything you can to warn the world because this great event will shock everyone. They will see great signs in the skies before the warning takes place. Stars will clash, clash with such impact that man will confuse the spectacle they see in the sky as being catastrophic. As these comics Comets infuse a great red sky will result, and the sign of my cross will be seen all over the world by everyone. For you, I'll pin that as well for you, is that Comet 67P is expected to meet up with this luminary. It's entitled Cosmic Disturbances. So um, let me go a little bit further. Um, so essentially when they say meet up, they even admit in the video that they mean collision and that this trajectory is expected around September. The story of the three wise men who followed the star of Bethlehem to find the baby Jesus is an enduring part of the Christmas story. And it turns out there's a historical and scientific evidence of a special star at a time and place that aligns with accounts in the Bible. As Kagan 9 on your signs, Craig Smith reports, astronomers think it wasn't truly a star, but something else that would, would have caught the attention of the wise men of the time. When the Bible says Jesus was born as Mary and Joseph traveled to Bethlehem to register with the Roman government, historical records independent of the Bible show that was by order of Caesar Augustus in the year 3 BC. The Magi are believed to be learned priests of an ancient Persian religion that made precise studies of the night sky. Michael McGee is the director of U of A's Flandro Planetarium. He says many cultures that study the skies saw something unusual about that time. There are Chinese writings, there are Arab uh, writings of the day that all uh, contribute to the history of what was going on and researchers have lots of material to, to look over to confirm it all. We celebrate Christmas in the winter because the early church decided to turn a pagan winter festival into a Christian observance. Ancient records actually mention a bright star in the east in August of 3 BC. But what did they really see? Something that looked like a comet. This is to be the sign for the second coming. Then a sign appeared in the sky as in Revelation 12. A great comet that resembles the rays of light in the divine mercy image. It's part of a heavenly sign representing the war in heaven from Revelation 12. Is a heavenly war between Michael's army and the dragons and his fallen angels. If you take Matthew's account seriously, there is only one plausible candidate for the star of Bethlehem, and that is a comet. It's the only candidate that fits what Matthew says, what the church father Ignatius says, what the other early Christians in the first two centuries said, and Origen in the third century explicitly states that the star was a comet. But which comet? Some astronomers have said maybe it's Halley's Comet. Uh, Halley's Comet appeared in 12 BC, but we know about how long it was visible. It was only visible for a couple of months. It never had a rising, and it never appeared in the southern sky, so we can dismiss that. What celestial body could play this part? Well, my research, well, I was working through with a lot of the top uh, scholars and, uh, in, in astronomy, the answer is, guys, there's only one body that can bring that, cause that to come alive, and it is a comet, not just any comet, a large heel bop type comet uh, that has the exact same profile as the Star of Bethlehem deduced from Matthew, and that this comet uh, is ineffectively uh, interacting with Earth because Earth is moving on its orbit, the comet is moving on its orbit, and the two, am amazingly through a geometrical magnificence, it is able to stay in the same part of the virgin's womb growing as a baby 
and then eventually being born. And as this comet produces this wonder, the Magi are able to see someone truly incredible is being born, and they turn to Old Testament prophecies, uh, including the prophecy of Balaam in Numbers 24:17. It was a comet, a great comet, a comet of sig significance uh, that would have signaled the birth of Christ. So when would he be born prophetically? It's not going to be in the autumn. That's the second coming. Got to be in the spring again. It all points back to the spring. And it's got, it points back to this month called Nisan, which means the beginning. The month means the beginning. That's what it means. That's where it all begins. So, and everything he does in order. Yes, Palm he Sunday, does. Res, he does it according to those days. So if you got, you count back, you got resurrection in the, the Nisan, you got Passover, 15th of Nisan, you got Palm Sunday, 10th of Nisan. You only have a few more days from the beginning that this has got to happen. So it's narrowing it down now to the very first days of Nisan. There is one day and it happens to be in Nisan. And the one day is Nisan 1, which is the very beginning of the Hebrew year. Do you want to talk about threats, Australia? You guilty fucking thing that accuses me of being guilty, you liar. Guilty of fucking anything you want to throw at me, Australia, you fucking liar. If the stalking of me does not stop, I shall murder the entire planet. You hear that? There you go, Australia. You don't stop stalking me. I shall murder this entire planet with a fucking comet that hits the center of Australia. It'll come out of nowhere. This world won't know it. Fucking hit it!